from Turkey again, eh? yeah. once again. Uh, this question has been is uh, being discussed nowadays in Turkey. A brother asked from Ankara, and uh, he says that uh, are the women allowed to perform Friday and funeral prayer together with men? If yes, under which uh, circumstances? According to authentic traditions, women have a right to say their prayer in mosques where special arrangement is made for them so that uh, they they are not disturbed nor they disturb men so under these conditions first of all their presence in Juma is absolutely re right and regular according to Islam provided these measures are taken in Janaza, there are two, two opinions. Some people take their cue from a hadith which prohibits women to go to uh, graveyards with men while someone is going to be buried. From that, they infer that women are not permitted to participate in janaza as well. I do not agree with that inference. To go to the graveyard and witness the burial of a corpse is far more difficult psychologically for women than for men. So some women may get a shock of their lives by seeing the burial with their own eyes so that later on they can be declared as psychologically influenced adversity psychologically influenced for the remaining of their life. I know this because I have been treating many such cases homeopathically as well. So this is understandable. It had to be like this. But for them to prevent participating in Janaza, despite the fact that it is not being said in Khabristan, in graveyards, I don't see that uh, this influence is right or justified from this hadith. So in Turkey as well, the same applies. In Janaza prayers, women must not go to the burial places that is, uh, graveyards, if it is set there. But outside, before the point of burial, if they can join Janaza prayer in a separate place which is reserved for women, where they and men do not disturb each other, that is permissible. And, uh, what about uh Eid prayers, women are not allowed to, allowed, to allowed in Turkey. In Turkey, they are not allowed. To. It's wrong. Turkey has made her own religion. <laughs> it's not Islam. Yeah. I mean, the Orthodox ulama are there, not to Turkey as such. Yes. I advise that uh, small girls and small boys should not should also be prevented from going to the burial places. Because if we understand the spirit of this hadith, this is not a spirit of segregation between men and women at all. It is the danger of uh, watching someone being buried and receiving a psychological trauma. This is this does not occur only in the case of grown-up ladies. It also occurs, and more probably it occurs, in the case of young children which the deceased has left behind. And most of my treatments, which I refer to, are applicable to the such cases, where young children have watched the burial of their parents, and from then on, they continue to grow with that trauma. 
So, as I understand the spirit of this, it also applies to such cases.